What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, of course, with Michael Anthony Fitness. And as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I may have some good news here. I think the gas companies have realized there's a point of no return where you go up too high with the gas and people say, screw this, I'm gonna buy an electric car. You know, they push the envelope, you know, get you just about there, and then they drop it back a little bit. And I'm actually seeing some prices that have gone down. In fact, yesterday, um, I saw it was 492 when I went out. When I came back, it was three, uh, 485. I know it's still sky high, but at least it's going in the right direction. It's coming back down to earth. You know it always goes through where it gets really high for Memorial Weekend. And after Memorial Weekend, they, they start bringing it back down to earth because, you know, they know everybody's traveling. Then. And I'm looking down here. I've seen it down here in Central Virginia at 453 and about 457, 461 is about the highest I've seen. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely plateaued and coming back down to earth. So that's some good news. And I may have some more good news that Michael just shared with me about Tampa Bay and the Gronk. Oh, yeah, he's retiring. The Gronkster is retiring. He's officially now, now, retiring. Officially retiring. That's not to say that he won't unofficially Now, now, now is this the same situation where they were rumored to be trading up to the no, Lions? No, 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 no. Because that's what happened. That's why he retired the first time because he didn't want to go to the Lions. Well, the, he, that he, he he's had you know his back's been fused. He's had a multitude of injuries. Yeah, he's but, been beat up. But they want to trade up to the Lions. Who wants to go to the Lions? Well, yeah, but again, that that's a different story. But now it was like they said, well, you know, Gronk just doesn't like to work out in the off season and stuff. So we'll give him plenty of space, plenty of room. We'll let him kind of do his thing, skip training camp. Uh, yeah, I mean, excuse me, OTAs and stuff, and then you know he'll come back ready to play. Now he's officially retiring. So what does that mean? That is one of Tom Brady's favorite targets. And the thing about the NFC oh, this year got, is... And Brown's gone, too, after his fiasco. Another target right. of his. So you're talking about Tom Brady not having as many weapons that he usually has. And, you know, Gronkowski and him are like, you know, you know Zen, you know, the whole, you know, freaking frack and all this, that, and the other. That they know each other. That is going to hurt Tampa Bay. And Tampa Bay's chances of going to the Super Bowl. And this is the thing that's kind of cool because for Cowboys, you know, you start looking at this and say, you know, Green Bay lost Devontae Adams, right? You know, the Rams lost um, Odell and Odell, uh, even if the Rams decide to bring him back, they're talking about like October or November before he's going to be ready to be able to play. Um, you look at Von Miller leaving um, the Rams as well. You know, you, you've lost some key players right there. And um, with uh, the 49ers, you know, I know Jimmy Garoppolo isn't a great, great quarterback, but he's still an experienced guy for whatever reason that always seems to win, and they're trying to get rid of him, and then you're going to have a first-year starting quarterback trying to play. You know, they may be taking a step back. So all of a sudden now, you look at the powerhouse. Oh, I forgot the powerhouse of the Eagles. You know, with their great quarterback, Jalen Hurts, who, how much is his autograph this year? 135. That's too much. But but unlike Michael Parsons, you can get whatever you want signed. That that really irks me. It does. Oh, it has to be officially off. Officially? What, what is this bullshit that now anything you get signed has to be officially licensed NFL merchandise? Seriously? Or a picture. Seriously, you know, I wanted to get the shirt that's so meaningful to all the people and stuff, okay, signed by him. Yep. He won't sign it because it's not officially licensed. Yeah, that's contract. You might have the same, you might work at that same company that CD that Lamb. That Lamb. It's like, really, dude? Really? It kind of ticks you off. It's like, you know what? That's why I don't, that's hundred and fifty dollars. At least sign whatever the heck I want you no, to no, sign. No, no, it's hundred and fifty or hundred and seventy, depending on what you get signed. Seventy five. <laughs> so that T-shirt would have been hundred seventy five to sign because it's not a it's, it's a large item. If if he was signing whatever. Anyway, the Cowboys get another little break. I'm telling you, 
the NFC is not as strong as it was last year. And uh, what about what about that Jordan Davis? Oh, Who's going to be a rotational guy? The Eagles are saying now that they think he can be a three-down guy and that he slimmed down <laughs> without losing any muscle and all that. So, no, and, okay. and, and our guy's going to probably be a day one starter. Okay. Yeah. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. They gave up five five spots in a player for him. Right. Five picks. Yeah. Well. I am uh, down here in the country. Got half a ton of sand on the back of the truck that we got to get off. Got a couple bags of cement so we can pour a footer. And I'm um, going to do a little bit of that. And then uh, we're going to call it a day. About another hour, hour and a half. So I appreciate all you good people. Hope you're having a great Taco Tuesday. Does Chipotle count as tacos? They have tacos or they have burritos or taco bar. Yeah, okay. All right. So we're going to try and do Taco Tuesday. Because we found out they have Chipotle nearby. And they're oh, probably they, building one. No, well, they're building one right here. Right so, here yeah. Town. That and the Popeyes. Red beans and rice. Oh. Yes, for my fat ass. <laughs> Peace.